All right, let's take a look at them. Cake flour steamed buns, all-purpose flour steamed buns, bread flour steamed buns, all-purpose flour with cornstarch steamed buns, self-rising steamed buns. Have you ever thought about which flour is the best for the steamed buns? Is it cake flour, all-purpose flour, bread flour, or self-rising flour? Hello everyone, Jun Jun here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to help you guys to answer this question. Well, let's use these different kinds of flour, make some steamed buns first. I'm going to start with the cake flour. Dijimianthen. Two and a half cup cake flour. A cup lukewarm water. 2 tablespoon sugar, half tablespoon yeast. Wait about 5 minutes until the yeast starts foaming. Pour the yeast water in the flour. A little bit green food color. Cover this. Let it proof for about an hour. Bread flour. Gaojimianfen. Exactly the same amount ingredients. 2 and a half cups bread flour. Foaming yeast water. Add some red food color. I'm adding different food colors here into different flowers. It will help us to recognize the different flowers later. Cover this, let it proof for an hour or two. All purpose flour. Two and a half cups all purpose flour. Yeast water. Add some food colors into it. Knead the dough. Let it proof for an hour. Self rising flour. I usually buy this for making biscuit. I'm also going to try this for steamed buns today. If we look at ingredients here, it contains baking soda. The baking soda will help this flour rising, but it doesn't contain yeast. If we don't add yeast into this flour, we won't have that fluffy, airy steamed buns. So we're still gonna use exactly the same amount of ingredients. Like the other flours dough. Two and a half cup self-rising flour, foaming yeast water, Gonna add some purple food color. Knead the dough back into the bowl, cover it, let it proof for an hour. Last steamed bun dough is gonna be my own recipe. I'm going to use all purpose flour, chongjimianfen, corn starch, baking powder, and of course, this yeast water. Two and a one fourth cup all purpose flour, and a one fourth cup corn starch, one teaspoon baking powder. Adding this yeast water. Knead the dough back into the bowl. Let it proof for an hour. All right, after an hour, let's check them out. This one in the green bowl is uh, cake flour, all-purpose flour, bread flour, purple self-rising flour. This is my recipe dough, all-purpose flour with corn starch. They all look like double-sized, but these three flours have better results. This is all-purpose flour. Look at that. This is bread flour. My recipe. Look at that bottom. Very nice. Self-rising flour. It's not bad either. The last one I'm going to talk about here it is cake flour. The texture is way different. Sticky and so wet. It doesn't have much gluten inside. When we use exactly the same amount of ingredients, it won't work for this cake flour. I mean, we definitely need to add more cake flour in this recipe. I would say a cup of water, we need to use three to four cups cake flour instead of two and a half. Look at how sticky it is and how wet it is. Let's add one more cup of cake flour. It looks so much better after we add more cake flour into it. All right, after I add more cake flour in this dough, I'm going to let it proof for another half hour maybe. We also need to knead each dough for about two to three minutes. The texture of each dough is so different. This is all-purpose flour. It doesn't take a long time to knead this dough. The surface becomes so smooth. 
and the texture is so soft, a little bit sticky. It's self rising dough. You can see the surface, it's not smooth. Bread flour dough. It contains a lot of gluten, bouncing and smooth, not as sticky as all purpose flour. My recipe. Basically, it's still all purpose flour, but because I add cornstarch, it won't sticky like it's a regular all purpose flour. Check this out. So it's stickier and feels wet because I add cornstarch, so it becomes more easier to work with. See? This one is easy to pick it up, but this one is kind of sticky. Now I'm going to use all these different dough to make steamed buns. We're gonna make each bun the same size, like 85 grams each. Put them on the steamer rack. Of course, I have this little parchment paper underneath. I'm not going to steam them yet. Cover, let them proof for a half hour before we steam them. Here is the egg custard filling I made yesterday. I'm using 6 egg yolks, 120 grams white sugar, 40 grams cornstarch, 40 grams cake flour, 400 grams milk. We're going to cook this mixture in the pan. Medium low heat, 90 grams butter in the pan. Keep stirring this mixture. I cook this mixture around 2-3 minutes until it's thick enough. We can turn the heat off. Keep stirring. The egg custard filling texture will be look like this. Then transfer this into the container and put it in the fridge. Chill for 2 hours. It is very yummy for the sweet steamed buns. You also can use sweet bean paste to make this sweet style steamed bean buns. Or you can make a salty style. Use ground beef, ground pork as salty filling. Go ahead, divide this egg custard filling. Bring the water to boil. Then steam this for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we're gonna leave it cover for about another 10 minutes. All right, let's take a look at them. Cake flour steamed buns, all-purpose flour steamed buns, bread flour steamed buns, all-purpose flour with cornstarch steamed buns, self-rising steamed buns. The buns in front row stuffed with egg custard filling, and the back row just to the buns. Before I steam them, they all weigh the same amount weight. But after I steam them, the size look different. These three in the middle look pretty much the same. And when I grab it, I already can feel and these three are kind of light and soft. These two are heavier and hard. Let's check this all-purpose flour bun first. So soft. Look at this. Isn't it cute? It's so soft, fluffy, and light. This one is a bread flour. The texture feels like pretty similar like the all-purpose flour one. Look at inside. All-purpose flour and bread flour. They both look great. This is my recipe bun. Bun is light, soft, but compared with these two buns, it has more chewy texture. You can see inside. It's not as airy as all-purpose flour buns if you can compare inside of texture. All-purpose flour is more fluffy and airy. This is cake flour. It's not as beautiful as these three. I think because cake flour doesn't contain that much gluten. When you steam the cake flour bun, the surface is not as smooth as like these three. Look out inside texture. Not as soft as these three. Doesn't have that much air inside of the bun. And the last one. I'm not too happy about this result. It turned out so weird. You would think self-rising flour, it will rise more. But it's not. And it's firm. Inside it's not fluffy, airy. It probably will taste weird too. 
All right, I opened so many buns already. So I'm just going to open one bun with the egg custard filling. My recipe steamed buns. It looks beautiful. Inside egg custard filling. It looks so cute and delicious. All right, let's taste them. See which one is the best. I'm so hungry. This is my favorite part, tasting test. I'm going to start with this one. All-purpose flour steamed bun. It's so soft, bouncing in my hand. I love the texture. This is perfect, soft, light, and fluffy. Awesome. Almost like eating a piece of soft bread. Talking about bread, I'm going to try this one. Bread flour steamed buns. It's also very soft. A little bit different in texture because bread flour contains more protein. More protein in flour means more gluten can develop. So this bread flour steamed bun has this distinct chewiness that all-purpose flour steamed buns doesn't have. All right, next is this one and this one. It's the same thing, but this one stuffed with egg custard filling. I don't know how to describe this personal like texture about this bun. It's not as airy and fluffy like all-purpose flour buns. It has that soft but also firm texture. I think people from Shandong province, China, they know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much similar like the mantel from that area, the one with filling. It's delicious. Cake flour steamed buns. It is softer than I thought, but less airy than the other three flour buns. The last one, this is gonna be so interesting. Self-rising flour. Mm, this is so weird. I'm not just talking about the texture. I'm talking about the flavor. Because the self-rising flour, it already contains, let me see. Yeah, it already contains baking soda, leavening, and salt. So you can taste baking soda inside of this bun. And as you can see, the texture is not soft and fluffy. It's firm and hard. So it's not great for the steamed buns. I don't recommend to use this self-rising flour to make steamed buns at all. Otherwise, all-purpose flour and bread flour, these two are good options. You also can try my recipe, use all-purpose flour, add some cornstarch into it too. It's great, just texture a little bit different. And the cake flour, I personally don't recommend use it for steamed buns unless you use it for some special Cantonese dim sum. They require to use this low protein, low gluten cake flour. Still soft, less airy, not too chewy. I hope today's video helped you answer the question, which flour is the best for the steamed buns? I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.